Hello students. So in the last session we discussed about uh, bio characterization or biochemical characterization of transforming principle. So I hope uh, you remember that we are uh, discussing about uh, the search for genetic material. Okay. First Frederick Griffith conducted transformation experiments and he said that transforming substance is uh, changing okay r2 cells into s3 cells and the transforming substance has been identified or proved by avery macleod and mccarty but uh, all biologists were not convinced uh, even by their experiments so finally unequivocal that is unambiguous or non controversial proof has been provided by the two scientists hershey and chase okay and they have selected uh, uh, a virus as their experimental tool and the viruses uh, which infect bacteria are called bacteriophages and they have selected one particular uh, virus or bacteriophage t2 t2 bacteriophage and this t2 bacteriophage infects Escherichia coli or simply E. coli bacterium. E. coli bacterium. And you see, they have selected this bacteriophage because the, all viruses will have only two chemicals in their uh, structure. One is a protein coat which is called capsid and the genetic material or it may be DNA or RNA but here uh, the bacteriophages will have what uh, generally DNA as genetic material. So now uh, the bacteriophage is composed of only two chemicals and that's why this bacteriophage has, has become an ideal material to find out whether uh, the protein or DNA is the genetic material. So there are only two chemicals here and now what they did actually what happens uh, uh, when this bacteriophage infects uh, the E. coli what it will do the bacteriophages whenever they infect they multiply inside the bacterium they multiply inside the bacterium and to find out uh, which part of this virus entered into the bacterium they have conducted these experiments whether it is uh, protein entered or DNA entered okay and doing that for that purpose what they did they have used some radioisotopic uh, materials that is what uh, uh, okay S44 35 and P of 4, 32. Okay, they want to label uh, this uh, protein and uh, the DNA of uh, the virus with these, uh, uh, okay, isotopes. So, you remember one thing that we can't culture the viruses. So, what they did is that they have selected uh, uh, the bacteria, E. coli bacteria, which are already infected by the virus. And now uh, uh, they cultured these bacteria, infected bacteria, in separate media. Some of them are cultured in uh, this medium, S35 containing one, and uh, other bacteria are cultured in the, uh, the nutrient medium containing uh, this P32 chemical. 
So now uh, uh, we have to remember one point here. So this uh, uh, sulfur is present in uh, the protein but not in uh, the DNA because we have already discussed about the components of DNA. DNA is com composed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and phosphorus. So we can expect this uh, uh, phosphate P32 will be present or associated with DNA but not with the protein. And we know that uh, proteins are uh, uh, chains of amino acids or polymers of amino acids are called uh, proteins and uh, different types of uh, amino acids will make uh, the protein and among which uh, you will find methionine and cysteine and these methionine and cysteine are sulfur containing uh, amino acids. That's why that the sulfate can be associated with the protein but not with the DNA. So, when uh, these E. coli bacteria which are already infected with the virus are cultured in these media, nutrient medium containing this one, okay, and their capsid is composed of uh, S35 and those, okay, uh, bacteria which are cultured in the, the medium containing this PO4-32 okay and their DNA is labeled with what P32 and here uh, I drew the di two diagrams here and uh, you might have noticed one uh, difference here I have used uh, uh, two colors here one is blue and the other one is what red and uh, this red colored is what you will find only for the capsid that is protein coat is uh, composed of what uh, isotope sulfa S35 and here you see the protein coat is uh, uh, okay represented with the uh, blue color and that means this is not with uh, uh, labeled one and you see here the DNA is labeled means what P32 is associated with DNA in these vi viruses and whereas uh, S35 is associated with the protein coat and this is what first they have done means what this is called labeling of the viruses and I hope uh, uh, you remember that uh, they didn't culture the viruses, they have cultured the bacteria because you can't culture acellular organisms because uh, the viruses will multiply only in the host cells but not outside. Okay, now uh, uh, let us get into the next step and now uh, they have taken some bacteria which are cultured in uh, the normal medium and uh, here they have, uh, okay, they did it in two separate experiments, okay. So these are the bacteria which are cultured in the normal medium and in other one also cultured in the normal medium and now uh, these, this first one, okay, is allowed uh, to infected by S35 labeled bacteriophages and in the second one, second experiment, these bacteria which are cultured in the normal medium are okay allowed to infected by P32 labeled bacteriophages. I hope uh, you are understanding but uh, for the sake of examination point of view, so we have to remember the three steps here. One is infection. The second one is blending and the third one is centrifugation. Okay, first uh, what they did, they allowed the bac these bacteriophages to infect the bacteria. And here you see, I have used black color for the bacteria 
and I am showing here this is what uh, DNA of uh, bacteria okay and here uh, uh, you should remember that uh, I have used uh, blue color for the DNA and red color for the protein coat and here you see these bacteria are also represented with the black color and this is the DNA of bacterium and this is the, the bacteriophage with red colored DNA that is what labeled DNA and this is the first step that is infection and it is very easy to understand the whole entire process now after infection they went for what uh, blending that is what agitation to okay separate uh, these viruses from uh, these bacteria blending and they got separated and wherever you separate them you will find them in the same test tube so now if you want to separate them completely and what method is required centrifugation is required so that's why the third step is what centrifugation then the, uh, these bacteria and the viral particles will be separated automatically and you see this is what centrifugation and now uh, they have got two parts this is in the medium and uh, okay these are separated bacteria and here uh, they found that uh, the medium is showing uh, isotope isotopic sulfur okay and uh, when they absorb this the second one the medium doesn't contain any isotopic uh, uh, chemical and uh, the isotopic one is present inside the bacteria means of course you know that uh, the water present in the medium capsids so from this uh, they have concluded that what uh, has entered inside the bacterium is only the dna of the bacteriophage but not the protein and now uh, what uh, this uh, uh, phage dna or viral dna will do after that this phage dna will uh, multiply and uh, produces what uh, many virions or viral particles in that in this way they have concluded that uh, the dna is the genetic material but not the protein that's why this is uh, the unambiguous proof for uh, dna as a genetic material